Alright. Reviews. Back here, yo. Bad reviews. Woo! Ocean 8. Oceans. Oceans 8. eight. Oceans 8. So, <laughs> I like heist films. Yes. I'm you big, like heist films. I'm a big fan of heist films. I like really, really good, well thought out heist films. I will have to say that the first Ocean film that I watched fall into that category. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bing. Um, I'm going to let you go first on this one because I kind of took the lead a little bit on The Incredibles uh, since that was my big hype for the uh, for, for that. So <laughs> really? I, I, know, really? I know you were kind of a little bit hype about uh, Ocean's 8 yeah. um, for last week. So um, go ahead. I'll let you Start us off. Uh, for Ocean's Eight, I mean, I was, I mean, I was kind of looking forward to the other other Ocean's movies. I liked. Well, the third one wasn't the greatest, but the other two I enjoyed. Um, so I was trying to see how to do a little different spin, you know, the ladies, Oceans, and everything else. Uh, overall, it it followed the same kind of Ocean's formula. I mean, if you enjoyed the previous three, you're gonna enjoy this one. It's the same sort of type of formula, the same type of kind of heist film. Uh, there's a lot of different like guessing problems they gotta get through and everything else. so it's the same thing I mean it's not a huge risk they didn't really come out and just say hey we're gonna do some a different direction or do this it's the same formula and I think it's the director that same guy from the first movie mm. so they didn't really do too much in terms of changing the whole oceans formula besides it's all women so Overall, they, I mean, they feel like they did a good job at it. I mean, did they blow you away? No. It's it's not going to be like, oh, this is the greatest heist movie I've ever seen in my life. No. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a typical, about average heist movie. I agree. Um, it's done well. Yeah. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Yeah. So, which kind of seemed like that's the rut we're in right now. There's a lot of, uh, like okay and good films there's not a lot of great films that are being put out right now um there are films that people are just kind of putting out there yeah um so that's not to say that it doesn't have its moments in my opinion yes. there are a few moments where you think it's kind of cool um uh, like they talk about um uh, like uh rihanna is like this nine ball and yeah. uh you know amazing hacker uh i would like to notice the smidge more about their background um there's small little drops at what all their backgrounds are. So in typical uh, Oceans fashion, I would have liked to see a little bit more on the background like they did on the first one. How like you got to know like Don Cheeto's character a little bit, like where they got him from, what his specialty was, all that stuff. Whereas these people were just kind of like picked up and she briefly mentioned what their background and their forte was. Yeah, and this why one she they, they kind of interviewed more as opposed to I think the original Oceans. They were all doing yeah. a job. Yeah. They're already doing something that they're already doing. Yep, like, they came in the middle of it and just got them. Yeah. So that to me, that would have been a little cooler. Uh, easily to pull from that and probably add a little bit more uh, reason to care about the characters a little bit more. Like, oh, that's cool that this person has that background and this. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, now I see why they got picked for that. Other than, okay, yeah, they're cool. They do this. They fill that role. No problem. Right? So this missing a little bit of backstory. Um, and... Adding that to the movie, I think, would have helped it. Yeah. Uh, like I said, not to say it's not bad. I'm going to go right into my rating for this one. I don't have a whole lot to say unless you want to add some more stuff to it. <laughs> uh, there's a few things I can talk about in spoilers, but I don't have too much more else to say about it. Oh, there's lots of uh, celebrity cameos yes, in this. there's tons of cameos. I mean, they're at the Met Gala, so they probably filmed it in, in between the Met and just did like quick snaps and shots. Yeah. So there's a lot of cameos, a lot of celebrities all through it. They just basically use all their influence. It was like, hey, you want to be like five seconds in our uh, in our movie? And they're probably like, yeah. They're like, yeah, no, why not? I've never been in a film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and give it, it is a solid three. Yeah. Solid three for it's me. So, same thing for me. It's a solid three. Okay. I mean, it's, it's enjoyable. So like if you just want, want to watch a movie, it's not going to basically... Kill your brain cells. It's Maybe, not gonna suck. Yeah, it's not gonna suck. And you're like, I just wasted a whole bunch of money going seeing this. This, this you won't feel like you've wasted money. You no, see it's something. an enjoyable film. Uh, you'll you'll more or less feel like you got your money's worth. I would yeah. say. Um, are there other films out right now that you could be watching that are better? Probably not, because there's not much out right now. Unless you want to see Infinity War for like the seventh time. 
10th. 25th. Or Black Panther. Um, home video. Or Dollar Theater. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So if you're, if you're really big in heist films, I say definitely check it out. Okay. If you're like, so, so heist films, you, you can definitely wait till it comes out on home video. Yeah. Um, small spoiler section in five, four, three. Oh snap! You only hadn't. Th- oh, 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 we weren't there yet. Okay. Two one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, first of all, I really like the. The be- I like the beginning. I do like the beginning when she comes out of jail. I was going to talk about Rihanna and how I like that they oh. have her looking all voluptuous in this film. Well, I mean, see, when they did not have Rihanna looking. Like I think Rihanna. that's probably because she's been smoking so much weed now. <laughs> because I remember when she first came out, man, she was tiny, but. Psh- Woo. Anywho, uh, aside from her role, which I would really love to know where she could, like her family history, because apparently everyone in the, her family is, cr- is a genius. Like genius criminals, too. like Genius level, yeah. So I'm curious to see what her background is. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Kate Blanchett's character basically is like the Brad Pitt yeah. of this group. Uh, the way she's like always a snappy dresser. Yeah. And, you know, a little, um, little comment and um, like, what's it really about? Yeah, and everything else. It's kind like of like a driving voice. thing. So yeah. um, they definitely played it safe in that sense, right? Yeah. Um, but they start the same way because the first Oceans is, is, is when um, Ocean comes out of jail, and that's the original one. Yep. The same thing with her getting out of jail. But I think the only difference was is the George Clooney one. They didn't really sh- like, think about it, for all the movies. They never really showed his skill. Oh, yeah, yeah. They never really showed what he really does. Like, he talks, he kind of plans, but you never really see... He's always on the sidelines. He's always, like, out of the actual play because mm-hmm. everyone expects him to do something. And then with her, right from the bat, they just show her basically get all these clothes, basically get a, that was a hotel, do, like, all her skills right from the bat. And you're just like, oh, okay. She's really good at social engineering, right? Yeah. Making, pe- making people think uh, the opposite of what's going on. Uh, like the, how she ended up getting out of like, free makeup and stuff. Yeah. And she's like, well, fine. Can you at least give me back? Right. You know, yeah. returns. Yeah. I was like, and then she just watched out like, did she fall for that? Like, I'm, I'm really <laughs> surprised. But they're not like, oh, she's trying to stay. Yeah, because yeah, you, know well, you walked through a different apartment, walked through the, the cashier. It was like, you know, I'm trying to do a return. Yeah. I mean, no one's gonna say anything because someone's walking, working with her. So she's like, yeah. I'm trying to do a return. The lady's like, well, you have a receipt? No, I don't have a receipt. I just want to do a return. I just bought this. And she's like, well, I can't do the receipt. Well, fine, just give me a bag so I can get all this stuff out. And I know I was going to question her because she has all the stuff in a bag. Genius. Genius. Pure genius. And then her getting a hotel room, and then her... That was interesting. And then she was going to bags and clothes and all kinds of stuff. She was just ready to go from from the start. So Yeah, that was really slick on how she got into it. She was like, oh, can you have a maid clean it up too? Yeah. And she just went up there. And I was like, oh, bam. Like, you know, she did a really good job. Really good job with that. Uh, anything else for spoilers you want to talk about on this one? Uh, look, I mean, there's a few things. They, they get a couple nods back to the original mm-hmm. with, with Ocean. And then they have, you know, a couple callbacks. They have about two in the, two in the movie in terms of that. But it's the overall heist. Uh, you're waiting for the misdirection. And that's what that's what Ocean and Ocean movies are known for is a little misdirection in it. Mm-hmm. And then the whole time you're you know they're going after you know the the necklace. And I'm like there has to be something the else. The Tucson. The Tucson, yes. <laughs> and I'm like there has to be something else because I mean the necklace is there, but I'm like there has to be something like there has to be a different thing that was going on because you know the movie was in it. And I'm like wait, I didn't feel like there's a twist. I don't feel like there was anything that was going on. And, I, and then basically pop up and go bam. Here's these crown jewels that you see earlier, and I and during the movie I was wondering I'm like, why aren't you guys going after the crown jewels? They're like yeah. right here, like they're out there in the open. It's they're on loan from Europe. They're crown jewels. I was thinking that maybe that they were there, but they were fakes, and that they knew that, and that's why they were. And going I did after start it. suspecting when the lady bought the submarines. It was a partner where she goes to the toy store. Yeah, and she buys I, had, the submarine I wasn't submarine. sure what that was for. And I was like. They give you little clues they're doing something else. And I was just like, I didn't, I saw the submarines. I'm like, they're doing something because I didn't see that. Yeah. And then later on, you see like, the box oh. and you're like, oh, that's what you bought that for. Yeah, I was like, hmm, there's something else. And then like, I didn't understand the scene where they, uh, she takes the extra time to make those people food. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> she was like in the catering truck. That was kind of weird. I was like, well, they're like, they're like, yeah, it's right there, cut it off. And she's like, oh. yeah, she actually does it. I think it's just because it's not gonna draw more attention because if you just do it now, then the mm-hmm. guys will be in front of the place like yelling, just hey, you know. And you don't want anybody to know it's a truck, so yeah. you give them the food. They're not gonna know that you're actually giving someone food. I, I definitely feel that there were a couple uh, jokes that they were really trying to like hit on that just weren't as funny probably as they were hoping were gonna be in the theater. Um, so there's a couple of moments where it does feel a little forced, which kind of took a, just a little bit away from the overall flow of the film. But like I said, um, overall, not bad. Yeah. So. Not too bad of a movie. It's enjoyable. If you want to see high school, like we said, go see it. Go see it. So small recap once again. Three out of five. Um, decent enough to check out in a theater. But, uh, oh, however, I don't want to say but, because if you say but, that negates everything you said before. So however, <laughs> <laughs> if, as Ian and I have been saying, if you really like heist films, I would say go check it out, because there's not really anything else to go check it out yeah. uh, in the heist film genre. So, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep doing what you're doing. Let us know if there's anything in particular you want us to review for you that maybe you are not daring enough to check out yourself. And we will go uh, take a look at those comments and discuss whether or not we should. (laughs) I see it. (laughs) More than likely. Um, All right, so I hope everyone has a great weekend. And get out and watch those films. Yes. Peace. Peace.